My sister has had episodes where she came very, very close to needing glucagon, and it gets very scary. But in the case where she needs glucagon, that means her blood sugar's gotten so low that she can't control it. And in that case, it, she can't inject it because she's unconscious and unresponsive. So it would have to be up to my friend or my friend's parents to figure out how to use this device. And it's so complicated that my parents didn't feel comfortable leaving her alone. So 15-year-old Sean decided to come up with a better idea for his sister. Pairing up with another 15-year-old and working with the DMZ at Ryerson, they have come up with a prototype and are now working on moving their idea forward. Essentially, it's a glucagon auto-injector. So think EpiPen for diabetes. And what it does is it changes the way that, that uh, glucagon is injected into type 1 diabetics. So right now, the standard kit is six steps to inject. And it takes five minutes on average for the average person to inject. And we're changing that, uh, those requirements to 30 seconds for everyone to inject and only three steps. We have the two components separate. The diluent, which is a 0.9% sterile fluid, is going to be on the top because it's the liquid. And the glucagon powder will be on the bottom, of, of the, separated by a barrier. And when you pull off the safety cap, the barrier retracts. And then all you have to do is shake for 5 to 10 seconds and push on the top of the pen to inject into the diabetic. And while it may be a good idea, Sean admits it's not a new one. I think if they're making enough money from it and diabetics are buying it, I think that's enough of an incentive for them to leave the, leave the device as is. And as you can imagine, there are a lot of challenges to get this idea approved. One major impediment is the fact that you need so much money to go through FDA and get clearance for this product to actually be released to market. But he says he has one reason to be optimistic. We're not inventing a completely new drug. We're repurposing the delivery device and we're using our own pen technology. Officials at Diabetes Canada wouldn't comment directly on Sean's invention that he hopes will replace this current injection kit, but they do say that they applaud the initiative. Hats off to them for trying to do something really innovative and, you know, let's see how it works and what it can lead to. And they are optimistic that they can have a prototype up and working and tested within the next six months to a year. Whether or not the idea works and will go to market remains to be seen. On University Avenue, Audra Brown, City News.